The store was founded in 1961 um, by the Smith family, Marshall Smith, um, who just passed away a few years ago and his son is still involved with the store and is one of the co-owners of the store. It sort of opened as um, as an independent store that had a slightly different view towards making uh, literature more accessible. So his store was one of the first that really focused on, for example, selling paperbacks of all kinds of things. With the surge in ebook sales writing the final chapter for so many bookstores, could your local library be next? Like ebooks have a lot going for them. They are convenient, they're portable, and in theory, they are cheaper than hardcovers. But with tablets growing ever more popular, many families are wondering if there's a real difference between reading stories from a traditional book or reading them on a screen. This is really, really popular. People have been buying this, they love it. It's what people associate with ebook readers. Um, the thing about so uh, how has the rise of digital reading platforms such as like uh, Kindle affect the physical bookstore? I think that ebooks when they first arose on the scene were incredibly disruptive and there was this sort of common false knowledge that ebooks were going to completely take over and that paper books were going to go away um, and that all the bookstores would close but that was obviously not the case because we have um, you know even with places like Amazon we still have a pretty big and vibrant and successful independent bookstore community in the US So uh, let's talk about the community. In what ways has Brookline Booksmiths adapted to foster community engagement and the loyalty in the age of online mm. bookstore? Yeah, well, I think um, one thing is very simple, and it's going back to the notion of browsing. Um, actually, we've had a tagline for decades that's dedicated to the fine art of browsing. And I think that that is something that doesn't exist online in the same way that it does in person. And when you walk through our stacks, you interact with booksellers who really know their stuff, who can point you towards what you want, who can make recommendations, um, who can get you things that we may not have. Like they, there's, there's the, always the opportunity for a personalized experience and you don't get that online. And so we see that, you know, a paper brick and mortar bookstore can still be very successful. And as you can see upstairs, uh, there are plenty of books for us to sell. Um, so I think, I think sort of the, the existential threat that people felt there was from eBooks when eBooks were first emerging, I think is no longer quite the kind of intense fear that it was, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. Laura Cooper and um, I'm the owner here at Saltwater Bookstore. Um, I lived in Marblehead for over 20 years now and um, we've not had a bookstore for over five years so this was a lifelong dream that yeah. so I feel like um, I mean books are accessible anywhere right it's very easy to hop on Amazon and to get a book mm -hmm. but I wanted to create something that was unique to Marblehead. Um, so everything from you know, the style of the store to the name is a reflection of our community that people can feel connected with. So there are, you know, of course, bookstores everywhere, but I feel, um, especially like in this day and age, you have to kind of create an experience that is unique, that's gonna wanna bring people in that, you know, to encourage that time to browse. And um, so, yes, you know, of course, I was very inspired by Beacon Hill Books, and it's a perfect reflection of their community and their area. 
and wanted to create something for Marblehead that's very um, cozy and has a great beach feel and it's light and bright and yeah, it's really resonated well with the community. Um, I mean, I see myself here. I see myself doing the same thing. Of course, you know, you can't predict the future. You don't know how things are going to change. And I think the important thing is to evolve, you know, as you need be. But there's something very classic and um, about going into a bookstore. I mean, probably the most common first thing people come in is, oh, I'm so glad you're here and thank you for doing this because people just like that step back and that step away. And so I think there's always going to be a place for books um, and it's a very strong book community. So hopefully they'll continue to support.